Welcome to Houston Life, everyone. On this Friday, January 25th, I'm Courtney Savala. I'm feeling so tall right now, Courtney. <laughs> What's going on? There's a reason for it. There's and a reason for it. I don't even have my box yet. It's so. very exciting. I'm just going to crouch down a little bit so we're uh, on the same level. How about there we that? Are. We made it through the week. We did. Honey. And this morning you were down at Monster Jam. I was. We're going to have a full story about that coming up. I can't wait. You got to not drive one of the trucks because insurance purposes me. won't no, allow that. But I got in. Awesome. Yeah. How do you get in? They give you a big ladder? No, you know what? You actually go like around the tires, like in the middle of the truck, and there's like a ladder, like a thing that you, you step climb up on. underneath. You climb up underneath and get up. Like kittens do in regular it's cars, amazing. right? Well, between Monster Jam and the Houston Auto Show going on right now, so many cool things to do in Houston this week. We also have a list of a bunch of other things we'll get to later on in the show. But let's talk about today's Houston life in the meantime. It is a meal that will rock your taste buds. How you can get your hands on a flaming hot mac and cheese burger. You gotta see it to believe it. It's so true. We'll show you later. It's yeah. over there in the kitchen right Unbelievable. now. Unbelievable. Plus, home renovation hacks from tile to hardware. How to get high-end looks for less. All right, but before we get to all of that excitement, we are so happy about our very first guest today. He's a legend, six-time world champion boxer and Olympic gold medalist, Sugar Ray Leonard. He's here in Houston this weekend for a huge boxing event. That's right. The event is going on at the Toyota Center. It's Mungia against Inohu going on. And uh, Sugar Ray won't be inside the ring, of course, but he's going to be behind the mic broadcasting the event right into your living rooms with DAZN. He joins us now in studio. He's come right here, over. Sugar yes. Ray. Come on out. Welcome to Houston Life. Thank you so much, Courtney. How are you doing? I'm great. It's such an honor doing? to have you, you here. Doing? Great to you see you. You're taller than I thought you were. Well, you know what? It's <laughs> it's the boots, and I, I like to slouch, but uh, today I'm going to stand up straight. We're so glad you're in town. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm excited about being a part of DAZN. Yeah, this is so cool. We're going to tell everybody about DAZN coming up, but let's talk a little bit about you. we got to brag on you. I mean, <laughs> let's just talk about you. You started boxing at 14, is that right, or well, younger? I started when I was like nine, and the kid hit me in the nose, and I said, that's it. And I took him off. I came back when I was 14. Oh, wow. And showed him what was up, didn't you? Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. actually, actually I did. I, I, I put the gloves on, and it was like I found boxing. Boxing found me, and we found each other. Is it true, though, Sugar Ray, that one of the reasons why you started boxing to make money is because your family had medical bills they needed to pay? My father went to a coma, and we had no money. And I, I, I remember, vividly remember this because I was going to go to the University of Maryland. I was going to college. And I turned pro with the right people, and I was able to, you know, my father, my father, in fact, in fact my father passed away in May, 95. So he lived longer than expected. My mom is doing okay, and life is great. That is so awesome. I mean, and to think, I mean, getting into the boxing world, competitive, it's, uh, you know, a sport, obviously, once you're at that big time level, there's a lot of money to be gained from mm -hmm. that. But getting to that, I mean, six-time world champion, of course, you won an Olympic gold medal. Um, your career, you can't ever get away from boxing. I mean, you're back sort of in the ring, kind of, on, alongside the ring. Yeah. Um, do you like that role of being able to call those fights? Absolutely, because it doesn't hurt. Uh, <laughs> but I love, you know, being with Jazon has been, it's like something I've done always, you know? And, and I see where these young boxers are trying to get to it because I've been there. Right. And I know exactly what they're thinking, what they're feeling. And it's great. It's like being home. It's just like my second home. That's fantastic. And DAZN, by the way, it's D-A-Z-N dot com. Yes. And you guys have, it's sort of like the Netflix, but for boxing, right? So people can sign up Actually, for a subscription? For sports, it's, right? it's the Netflix of sports. Awesome. It really is. And it's, it's fantastic. And I'm, I'm seeing all my, my, my dear friends who I've known for many, many years. And uh, it's, just, it's good to be home. Especially, in fact, I won a title here in Houston uh, with Abu Kaluli, the 154-pound uh, title. Uh, whew, it was like some 20, 50, 50 years ago. <laughs> but that's what's amazing, though, because there have been so many titles yes. and so many different wins. <laughs> <laughs> what really stands Woo. out for you? Because the gold medal win, that was the Montreal Olympics in 76, maybe? Right. Yes. So is there anything that you've done in your career that still stands out as a highlight? Because 
reading through your credit list, it's yeah. remarkable the things you've accomplished Nothing in Nothing compares to the Olympics. The Olympics is so, it's so incredible and it's, it's, it's special. And the boxing professional, the titles, is, is wonderful too. But you know, it's like when I give back, because my wife and I started the Sugar Red Anna Foundation. Yeah. Right. And we raise awareness and raise funds for uh, diabetes type 1, type 2, and we've raised over $3 million. It's fantastic. And it's, it's, I've been blessed, now I want to do what is right. And diabetes, that's a cause that's close to your heart because you have family I, members. My father, my father was diabetic, and uh, my friends, their kids or themselves are diabetic, and... Uh, that's one opponent I want to knock out for sure. Absolutely, and in our lifetime, it's got it. That's got to happen. I know we're getting very yes. close to a cure. Um, what about some words of encouragement for some of those young fighters out there, or somebody aspiring to follow in your footsteps? To be successful, you have to really want to be successful, and there are no shortcuts. Right. There are no shortcuts in anything in life, and I just tell them to dream the dream. You know, because it's like your dreams are the window to your future. Your goals are the vehicle that takes you there. You take away those dreams, you're stuck in a room without windows. Take away those goals, and you don't have a map to get to your dreams. It's all about dreaming and pursuing that dream. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. It's like, I feel like you're the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very inspiring. Coming. That was great. Thank you so much. Listen, we figured that ahead of the, the big event happening at Toyota Center this weekend, we would do our best to uh, put on some gloves of our own, and maybe you could lead us through a little game. Okay. But I don't... those are fine. Those These are, are fine. Those are sparring. Okay. Gloves, right? So so why don't we go over and see exactly how this those is okay. how this is going to work? Right? Pads, yeah. yeah. He can that's, draw with that's those. Not a, that's not a boxing glove. It's not a boxing glove. But, but, but it, it looks like a glove. Looks like a glove. It looks like a glove that's been beat up. Oh man. Okay. Let's yeah. move on over into the ring. Our producers are very sneaky to not give me gloves, but instead give me pads. So the way this is all going to go down, right, Sugar Ray, is you're going to pull a word out of the bowl. Courtney and I then have a short amount of time to try to draw whatever it is you <laughs> you tell us to draw. <laughs> so I reach in here. Yeah, but I think we're going to need those markers first. Let's, let's, uh, let's okay, cast down a marker so, oh first. Man. And I'll pull this. Okay. Because you're going to need this. Yeah. How am I supposed to hold Which a marker? Are you right-handed? Yes, guys. Uh -huh. I'm right-handed. How is this going to... that's going to go okay. in there? Okay, I think we can make it work. All right. Have we tried this there yet? We go. No, we no, haven't. No, this is all... This is... Why would we rehearse? We well, don't need to rehearse. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, I got, got it. it. Okay. Okay. Derek? Okay, let's see. Here okay. we go. Okay, oh, all right. Man. You want to okay. pick a word? Okay. Let us know what we're drawing. Yes. Going down short. Well, this is already not a fair fight. This is so interesting, guys. This is so competitive. Championship belt. Oh, oh, a championship belt. Okay, how much time do we have to draw this? Uh, that looks good. That looks like my belt. You know I what? love it. I love it. Oh, this uh, is a good belt. This, um, this is a trophy. Boy, this is great. This is a whole dollar yeah. sign. You guys are great, man. Okay, fantastic. and our time is up. Time is up. Oh, wow. wow. Whoa. Okay, we're just gonna step aside to ensure that people can see just how oh, great no. these look. Sugar Ray, you gotta be the judge. I, I, I'm, I'm blown away. I mean, it looks just like my belt. <laughs> um, I did my homework. <laughs> yeah, and this look, but that, you know, I, I hate to, I'm not hurting your feelings, but that look, looks like a um, utensil. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of utensil? A strainer. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> So who won? I like this one. Thank you. Okay, so Courtney round wins one. round one. Let's do a few more okay. rounds because okay. I gotta catch back up. Okay, okay. sorry, I had to fix my uh, you guys ready? marker. Yeah, we're ready. Oh wait, uh, oh, 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 oh. how do we flip the thing? No, no. Uh, Will you help us out, Sugar Ray? I, oh, I was just gonna yeah. draw the blank space. <laughs> no, no. Okay. okay. All right. Number sorry, two. I'm new here. Number two. My first day. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Uh -oh. Punching bag. A punching bag. Punching oh. bag. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like a potato. It does. <laughs> it's not a potato, Courtney. It's a punching bag. You can oh. do it. Oh, and look, I'm going to do a little one, too. Isn't that supposed to be like a hanging one? You know, it's hanging, right? It's, uh, yeah. Um, and uh, no. I think okay. our time is up. It's up. I don't think our timer went up. That's a big foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. No, this looks like a potato. <laughs> a white potato. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... You win. Yeah. yeah! Okay, it's one-one. One. I right. would cheer, uh, but my marker would go. Now, 
Okay. This is, okay. For, this is for the undisputed championship belt. Okay, so the, the tie breaker. Tie breaker. Yeah. Courtney, look how good mine was. You, man. Come on. It's like we did to the weigh-in. What if I dropped my marker and it got all over your dead. face? Not good. Right, come on, calm down, guys. Calm down, calm down, guys. Okay. You guys are fighters. Woo! Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bam. Tex. Tex. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh man, Tex. So Tex is our our official dog here at Houston Life. Sugar Ray. I kissed him. Oh, you kissed Isn't him? He cute? Yeah, he's very cute. Aww. He's so cuddly. Oh man. Uh, oh, what just happened? I would just like to repoint out that I am not wearing actual gloves, right, Sugar Ray? These are pads. Well, no, pads. Uh, we'll talk later. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, this is very interesting. Oh. Okay, and actually, we're gonna go to NBC right now for a special report. But first, a successful adoption story. When a Houston SPCA inve investigator stumbled across Odin, the big dog was lost, dirty, and emaciated. And it was quickly apparent that Odin hadn't received any care in some time, so he was rushed back to the Houston SPCA to be looked over by a veterinarian. Well, no one came to claim the gentle giant after several days, so he was made available for adoption, and Leah and her family swooped him up two days later after a little TLC and a <laughs> big old bath. Odin is feeling, as you can tell, much, much he more looks like himself. very comfortable and like a totally like different that. dog. I over the shoulder <laughs> shot. That's amazing. Glamour <laughs> shots, red carpet. <laughs> Leah reports that Odin wasted no time in winning over his brand new family, including a dog they had adopted from the Houston SPCA just five years earlier. And Lisa Tynan, as you can see, is joining us now with a little schnauzer mix with a Yorkie, a schnorky? A schnorky. Yes, I'm She's gonna wake her up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn she around. is like a hot water there bottle is. right now. Her there belly. she is. Look at the face, y'all. Oh, oh, I know. We that's went from the cutest dog I've ever seen. Potentially ever. And we were, you know, just talking about a hundred pound Great Pyrenees, and now we're talking about a four pound something. Uh, uh, I cannot. We're at a loss for words over We here. put her down on the floor earlier during that NBC special report, and she was just breaking hearts right and left. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and what's happening here that, um, they're like the little wings yep. on her face. She's just glamorous and beautiful and sweet and fair. Gosh. She's just, ugh, I just want to scoop her up in my own jacket and not let anybody else have her because she's that sweet. Um, she can't, she's the product of divorce, y'all. Like her owners got divorced and couldn't decide who was going to keep them. So she and her mom ended up with us. What? I know. What? I you know. can't do that. I know. I, wh why weren't they fighting over her? <laughs> I said. No, she's but mine. No, she's mine. She's mine. Aww. The good news is, though, because she is such a fabulous little puppy, she's going to find a home instantly. Look at her. She's falling asleep. I know. Shh, baby sleeping. Baby you know, sleeping. We'll her eyes are closing. She, I know she's a mix, yes. but uh, small dog mix. So very, yes, this is it, little. pretty much. I she's mean, probably going to be ten or twelve pounds, maybe would be my guess. She's going to be teeny weeny. If you live in an apartment, she's not ever going to go over the weight limit. You're fine. Well, and Yorkies are so cute and great, and Schnauzers are so great that the mix. I really love the way her fur feels yes. because it just has silky. That, it's silky, but it also has like that rough, wiry it's feel little, at the same time. Yeah, I like it. Scruffy. But she's oh out. Goodness. She's out. She's mm -hmm. completely out. Listen, there, here's what happens when we have the cutie patooties on the show. I was just going to say this. We get, we we get, get like flooded message, with phone calls. Messages People after message. People desperately call Channel 2. Here's the thing. Don't call us. Call, call the, the SPCA. SPCA. Better yet, drive there right now. Immediately. And by the time little one Eclipse gets back there, you might have a chance. Is Mama there too? She Luna? is. Luna, yes. Her mother's name is Luna, by the way, which I thought was a very cute pun. But okay. Yes, she's there as okay. well. Lisa, thank Lisa. you. She's not going to last Eclipse. very much longer. Have a good nap. Okay, folks, as always, you can log on to their website, HoustonSPCA.org, if you would like more info. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> All right, y'all, get ready for 12,000 pounds of fun. We are taking you inside the Monster Jam's big rigs mm -hmm. and introducing you to one of the drivers who's from Houston. All right, we've got some finishing touches going on here on Grave Digger. They are putting a tire back on after checking the air, making sure everything's good, but not the driver for Grave Digger. We've got a competitor, Colt Stevens with Bro Dozer. Colt, thanks so much for joining us on Houston Life today. Man, happy to be here. Thanks for having me. And by the way, a Houstonian on the Monster Jam circuit. That's right, Did proud I Texan. Yeah. I know, that is so awesome. <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? I actually went to Oak Ridge North. And that is so cool. Yes, okay, yeah. so you grew up around this, though, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. This is actually my hometown. 
Uh, my dad has been in this industry for many years, and I've been coming to this place not only relying here, yeah. but also the Astrodome back in the day for 30 years. And this is his hometown, something I love, and excited to be here this weekend. You literally grew up on this circuit. Your dad uh, owned King, King Crunch, Crunch yep. which I remember. My oldest son is now 11. He was a huge fan of King Crunch. What's it like for you, not only to be standing on this dirt here at NRG, but to be back near the Astrodome, to be back here on the circuit in your hometown? Man, Every time I walk down on this field, I just look up and I'm in awe every time to stand in this place, the same place that my dad stood for yeah. 20 years driving his truck in front of so many fans. You know, things have changed a lot since those days. It's wild and crazy. So it's so awesome to just bring this new generation of Monster Jam to the new generation of fans. It's so cool. Okay, we're going to walk over to your truck. While we do that, I know you guys are preparing for tonight's big show. Are there any rituals like you do a little workout beforehand or what do you do before the show? You know, I definitely stretch out. One thing about these Monster Jam trucks is as awesome as they are, I do take a little bit of a beating in them. Going as big as we are. I mean, we're talking 30, 40 feet in the air. Sometimes we throw a backflip, some two-wheel skill. It's really a wild ride. If we look here, this is actually my truck, the Brodozer. What's special about this truck, it's actually the first diesel Monster Jam truck to run inside with Monster Jam. How cool. It's powered by a Duramax diesel. It's a Waggler Competition, SS Fueled, uh, Precision Turbos. And that's something you might see that's different is I actually have turbos on my truck compared to a supercharger. So it's gonna sound a little bit different and act a little bit different. So if you check the show out, Definitely keep an eye on the bro dozer because we're going out, we're coming out swinging. Absolutely. And how much does this weigh? Like, what's the weight on this? Um, our Monster Jam trucks weigh about 12,000 pounds. You can imagine that's that's heavy. Absolutely. And then, you know, as you're preparing, as you're saying, like, you take a beating, it's tough, but, like, what do you do before you actually get in your vehicle, in the bro dozer? Do you visualize the track? What do you do? Absolutely. Every time I go out there, I'm thinking about the course. I'm getting my mind right. There's one thing about these trucks is you have to have your mind right and know what's going on because I not only drive with the front steering wheel, I also drive with the rear. I drive with both feet both time, all the time, constantly. So I'm using every extremity at all times. So I have to visualize and think about every corner, every jump, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to set the truck up, especially with the diesel because of the turbo lap. So it's so great. Uh, this weekend, actually, Heavy D is going to be driving the truck. Very cool. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're from the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Uh, they have a show, and he's coming in. He'll be here. I'm excited to get him in. He actually drove a couple weekends ago uh, before me, and we came out with the uh, points lead. So tonight, tomorrow night's going to be awesome, and can't wait to see what he's going to get done. Okay, big question. How do you get in? Oh. Where, where's, like, I see it. there's a door frame, but how do you get in? Believe it or not, that is a common question. It's actually pretty easy. We're going to treat it just like a ladder. You're going to crawl up on this one side. We can only get on the driver's side only. The other side's covered in just in case. Okay. So you're going to step with your left foot right here, right foot here, and then you crawl yourself right on in to the okay. seat. Okay. I'm in. Uh, can you see me? <laughs> quite a view from up there, huh? It really is. Where's the horn, Cole? Uh, no horn. We just <laughs> use a gas pedal for that. We tell you to move with the gas pedal. If you look to the right, you can see the rear steer. That's what I use. It's a, it's a handle with a toggle. This one? Right here, yeah. Okay. That's what we use. That'll turn my rear steer right or left, whichever way I want to go. Okay. Uh, obviously, your steering wheel. And if you notice, the seat is actually built specifically for me. Every driver has a seat that's built for them to hug me and to hold me in place as well as a seven-point harness that goes around me in every direction. And in this truck, I'm so tight. Literally, I'm just looking with my eyes. That's the only thing I use to see. That is so awesome. Cool. What an amazing view from that. I love it. OK, so maybe a little rapid fire for people that don't know you and different things that you love about Houston. OK, you ready? Yep. Favorite place to get a burger? You know, Five Guys. OK, not Whoa. a Whataburger. I know, not a Whataburger. Interesting. Uh, um, let's see. What do you like at Tex-Mex? Tex-Mex? Yeah. Man, I like fajitas, but I always seem to go back to cheese enchiladas. I just love the queso. I cannot get enough queso, but it's got to be Texas queso. Everywhere we go, I travel all over the world, all over the country, but there's nothing like the queso here in Texas. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm a huge fan for life after you said that. Um, okay, so any, what's your favorite song? Favorite song, uh, George Strait. 
Yeah, nice. let's say, actually, I'll take that back. My favorite song is going to be Chris Ledoux, uh, This Cowboy's Hat. Nice. Now, are you coming back here for rodeo? Do you have time on that on your circuit at all? You know, all? we are going to try our best to be here at rodeo. Me and my wife come uh, every year if we're available to. I do travel a lot, so yeah. we're going to find somewhere in there. I will make it for sure to the show. Not for sure the uh, rodeo, but I will be out here, hopefully, for the barbecue, too. Yeah, good and stuff. I don't want to miss, miss that stuff. Hey, I appreciate your time today. Good luck tonight and this weekend. And, uh, you make us proud, man. We always love a Houston connection and being able to tell Houstonian stories. So That's congratulations. Right. Bro dozer. I love it. Monster Jam is at NRG Stadium. That's tomorrow, the 26th at 7 p.m. For those who can't make it, don't worry. They'll be back for two more dates in February. And you can find more information, purchase tickets online at monsterjam.com. Don't forget the pit party is the place to be, too. You can get up close and personal with those trucks and the drivers. All right. Sounds like such a good time. We also want to spend send a special thanks to Sugar Ray Leonard, oh. who was so great on today's show. That big fight is coming up this weekend, so check it out. And before we go today, I gotta give a shout out to my mom for telling me about Imperfect Produce. This is so cool, it's launching in Houston, and guys, what happens is, every year, like tens of millions of pounds of produce, it's thrown away because... It's not pretty. It's not pretty, it's ugly. So this company, like check, like this thing, like maybe that's not pretty, right? But it's still good and nutritious. So what's cool about it is it saves consumers money because they're getting a deal. Right. It helps local farmers because they're able to sell products and it reduces waste. So if you go to their website, imperfectproduce.com, we had the coupon code up. Uh, Houston 5 gets you a little discount. That's awesome. And on Monday, they're, um, they're launching, their official launch is Monday at the Houston Food Bank. I love it. That is so cool. And you can also select the food, some of the produce, right? Yeah, with some of the produce delivery, they just give you a box of whatever and you have no choice. Yeah. But if you sign up, um, they will allow you to choose whatever you want. Win win. Win Thanks, win. Mama I'm sure. so excited. I know. Okay, it's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Oh my gosh, so many cool things around town. You can check out our website for ideas. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you Monday.